Ahoy, Captain K here, and today's we're going to bring you a video on three easy steps to get the Chatterbox. The Chatterbox SMG is one of the hottest weapons out right now for good reason. It has insane perks, and it's just a great all-around SMG. For every shot you land, the Incessant Chatter perk is going to give you 1% rate of fire up to a maximum of 60% rate of fire. It is incredible in increasing your DPS output. Add that on top of the box magazine perk, which is going to refill 20% of your magazine when you get a kill, and it also grants a buff for 10 seconds. During those 10 seconds, every shot that you hit increases your magazine capacity by one to a total of 60, okay? So you're just going to be able to keep putting out shots. This gun is amazing. When you kill a target, it consumes the buff and it fully refills the magazine. So you just don't stop shooting. The blabbermouth perk makes it so that as long as you have the chatterbox equipped, even if you're using a secondary rifle, when you reload your weapon within five seconds after killing somebody, it gives you a 20% rate of fire buff. Now you can see why this weapon is sought after by most folks grinding the end game. So let's talk about how you can get the Chatterbox. So, three easy steps to get the Chatterbox SMG. Step one, get hyena keys. You're going to need them to open up the caches so you can get the SMG parts. Hyena keys are RNG. This can be frustrating for some folks because some of it is luck. But... After a few hours of key grinding, I was able to get enough keys, which I think you need probably seven or eight at least if you're doing a good run through. And there's a hyena key. You'll also find True Sun's keys or Black Tusk keys. You're looking for the little white boxes along the wall. They're the only objects that have them. It is random and don't try to join your friend's lobby. It doesn't work. You can't cheese it. What I mean here is that you can't just join a friend's lobby and the keys reset. However, I recommend farming these keys with a friend so that both of you have keys so you can open up more caches to speed this up. There are three parts you need to make the chatterbox. You need the creative magazine, the loaded canister, and the modified mods. Finally, you have to get the blueprint to craft the chatterbox. Make sure that you do this last. Don't try to skip ahead and do this first. I've included the locations of the hyena chests I use to get all of my parts here. So, one of the first places that you're going to want to go to is the Grand Washington Hotel. In this mission, you're going to have two hyena boxes to check out. I chose normal difficulty. I don't think you have to play it on a specific difficulty. It works for all difficulties. That being said, you want to play through the mission up until you get to this part here with the lobby. When you're finished with the lobby, go up the staircase and through the door. Now, go up on this big set of stairs and go through the doorway. Take your first left you possibly can. Inside of this room, there will be a bathroom with a box. I was so excited. We just rushed right in. And yeah, <laughs> there were a lot of enemies. But that's all right. No worries. Because we take care of them. And, well, we kind of take care of them. Then we walk inside of the room here where the box is. And, whoop, bam, look at that SMG loaded canister. Feels good, man. So, the second box is super easy to get. Just follow the story progression as you do naturally. Once you hit the roof, take a right. Bada bing, bada boom, the box is there. At the corner of 8th Street Northwest and East Street Northwest. If you come from that upper left corner section there that you can see I'm approaching from. On your right, as you keep going down, there's going to be a hole, basically an alleyway between the two buildings. If you go through here 
and you turn left, there's a ladder. Go up the ladder. The box is right up here. And we've got mm, an AUG, but no part. Another box is found at 10th Street Northwest and Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest. This one was kind of tricky. So I look at this emblem on the left wall when you're looking along the walls of the buildings looking for it. But also you could just follow my video here. The visibility when I was filming this was kind of whack because well, it was foggy as heck. But, you know, oh, well. So you run on in through here. There's the this, this symbol. Cool. You're going to take a left. All right. You're going to take a right. You're going to take another left. You're going to walk out of the door straight in front of you. Follow it out to this fancy courtyard here. And go up this ladder. All right, follow that down. I don't know how he just warped there. I guess he saw the matrix. And bada bing, bada boom, found another part. Another easy box is going to be found on Indiana Northwest. I just traveled to the dark zone nearest to it. And when you step out of the dark zone on your left, that building inside of there is a garage. Now, I fast traveled to one of my friends. Uh, but you can see here roughly where the exact location is, kind of towards the end of the building. And then when you go in there, there's another fancy box to be found. The cash box and key box is reset every 24 hours. So if you still haven't found your parts, just keep trying. I was fortunate. It only took me about seven or eight keys or so. Once you're done, it's time to get the blueprint, okay? We've got to get the blueprint for the gun. It can be used multiple times. You don't have to play this mission, Bank Headquarters, on challenging or anything like that. I've seen that post in some guides. It's not true. Um, we actually did it on normal here. My bud changed it to challenging, but then changed it back to normal because we had like 10 minutes left until the servers went out. Um, so you want to play Bank Headquarters all the way up to the office scene where you fight the elite and you get the vault key so you can open up the vault door and then once you kill him you're going to be able to go into an office now inside of this office there's going to be a key and this key unlocks a door inside of the vault that gets you the blueprint open up this panel over here and get your key there we go good stuff now we're going to move on and open up the vault now let's come over here, use the key card, and get the blueprint. Don't forget to bring a key with you. You're going to need it. That's it. The chatterbox is now yours. Well, assuming if you, you have the materials for it anyways. Mmm, a taste of that sweet exotic. So, how long did it take you to do it? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I broadcast on Twitch most nights anywhere from 10.30 Eastern to 2 a.m., 3 a.m. So you can always catch me on the late nights. But yeah, anyways, good luck everyone.